Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy with me, Red Cozy Games, and today we are going to get into the actual game, so in our last episode we did um, the character creation, you can see on the screen right now this is the, the character that we came up with, we uh, named him Barry Trotter. Um, if you did happen to skip the character creation because, um, you know, the character, character creation in games isn't everybody's cup of tea, which is why I made it a separate video. Um, I just want to preface this with, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I love the world that J.K. Rowling made. Um, so I, if, if I'm extremely fanboyish when it comes to this game then um, I apologize um, but I hope that uh, my enthusiasm will uh, enhance the uh, the video so let's get into this let's see let's start our journey and see where it takes us shall we We are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George. Eleazar, that's how we say his name. The description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Oh, it's uh, it was a bit of a cryptic look at the end there, wasn't it? Uh, oh, so I guess. Uh, our carriage is being carried by festivals there since we can't see them. Oh, and there's a... Oh, we're, we're being followed, I guess. Interesting. Um, breathtakingly wonderful um, visuals as you would expect from from a Harry Potter a game Glad I you <laughs> I see a stack of books just, just sitting on the back there <laughs> and who is your traveling mysteriously companion? being able to stay there without uh, falling student. off New. yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Goblin Rebellion. 
truth or I gobbledygook. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the ministry, I believe oh, he mysterious is a wing. significant threat. And it was your wife, Eliazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Interesting. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? It looks like a key. Oh. Dragon. Well, that's what the wings were. It seems to have some sort of collar. Oh, okay, so we can now see the festivals, so I guess we just saw uh, poor George's death, I imagine. Eliazar desperately trying to catch the key. Give me your hand. Wow, that was quite the opening scene, huh? Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps well, I can. I can feel Take the. This. It's Wigan well potion. That stuff will write you in a second. The um, low health through the uh, controller. Down for heal. Wigan world potion. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid air. A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? And, uh... An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. So, we're in a cave. I'd better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. So the key was a port or key. Why? Interesting. So for the graphics, I picked balanced. So this isn't as good as the graphics can get. Um, I picked a balance between graphics and performance. Um, I will experiment with them both to see what's best. Um, especially for making videos but currently we are on the balance setting oh interesting how far did that port key take us farther from london than the carriage traveled we're somewhere in the scottish highlands sir those ruins do you the think the port key was meant to lead us there i do this has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay. 
So, uh, poor old Eleazar has now lost his wife and his friend to whatever this is that's happening here. Good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. <laughs> Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the book key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the park down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's guess... not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Okay, so... R2. There we go. Use R to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relate relative targeting in settings. Okay, we'll have to experiment with that. That's a very interesting character I can see down below. I'm not sure if that's the hair or wit or a wig. Kind of looks like um, the um, the flying teacher from the first Harry Potter film. Okay, so do that. Oh, the slide's pretty cool. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. This seems to be highlighted. I wonder if. I wondered if there might be something in there, but I guess it's just me. Thank you, sir. It's just me looking. Oh, that was quite cool. You can even, as long as it's highlighted, even if you turn away, you. Uh, that's quite cool. There's some really uh, strong aim assist there. Barry Trotter is a uh, parkour master already. We're close now. It's just ahead. Quite like the little swish. <laughs> like he finishes the uh, the swing in a very artistic way. Steady yourself. Repair. Ooh. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Almost there. When I see the highlight, I can't. I can't seem to help. Uh, Hitting the R2 button. Why would someone have built this here? Who's I this dude? They valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. The minimap shows your surroundings with you. 
being the purple arrow in the middle this so it's like the way the waypoint kind of thing is your current objective press and hold the up to toggle quest objective details okay interesting that's quite cool Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? So it looks like we just got lucky here. We we went to investigate the uh, we went to investigate the um, statue. It just happened to take us on the right path. That's cool. Let's have a look at this. What's this, Professor Fig? Oh. It's a, a mirror of some sort. Can we walk through it? No. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that kick. enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. So I wonder where and why we are able to see things that... Uh, the Professor Khan. Investigate. What in Merlin's name? Oh, now it's just a stone wall. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe Ooh, it. Oh, we teleported inside the room. Wake the goblin. Oh, there's a goblin there. So is this Gringotts? Time to get up, dude. Hello? Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. <laughs> it can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> well, he obviously wasn't expecting anybody. <laughs> Is he going to to uh no, it's come to see us. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. You cannot beat the, uh... The, um... Harry Potter world type music in the background, can you? The orchestral um, you. background music is fantastic. Of course, this is the the carts that Hagrid, all, Hagrid always gets uh, sick on. <laughs> but this looks a lot different to the one that we saw in the uh, Harry Potter films, I think, anyway. Interesting. This is so cool. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The fortress now in the midst. A private... Oh my gosh, this is cool. ...common of Gringotts. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? Through the oh, I see. This is the um, disillusionment water, is it? I think that's what it's called.
Wow. Well, here we are. How does... I wonder how they knew to meet us here. Or is that a security guard that is always there? Vault number. Oh, he looks mean. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. He uh, scarfed off rather quickly, didn't he? I wonder if he's gone to... Uh, yep. I feel like he might be going somewhere to uh, dob us in, as it were. Like the glow you saw in the porky container. Now the darker. I saw that same glow in the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin. So he watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. And I'm afraid I can't help but look for loot wherever we go. I'm a bit of a loot goblin when it comes to open world games, I have to admit. What's inside Vault 12, I wonder? Let's go and find out, shall we? Ooh, what is this? What did I say about being a loot goblin? Are they... are those galleons we found? Did I miss anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay. Let's see what's inside vault number 12. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, oh, there's I something glowing at the end there on the, on the rock wall, I, I see. Access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Rude. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay, so steady your wand with L. L, uh, the, um, joystick and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion. Interesting. Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer. I'm pretty sure we uh, saw that without having to use the spell, to be honest. A Ooh, door. doorway. Well, and that's a start. It kind of has the same shape as the key, right? So I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the pool key container. I wonder if anything else in here can be. Forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of Revelio. Lead the way. Oh, he's sending me in thirst. Sneaky, sneaky. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. 
Stay close. This does remind me of no the um if things go poorly. Not out of the quests in book five or is it book six? Book six, in fact, that uh, Dumbledore was taking Harry on to find the Horcruxes. Okay. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. We do sound a little bit like. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe, don't we? When we talk. Lumos. What happened? Ooh. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. There appears to be an Are you all right? Oh, is yes, he coming up? I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor Some to change. Some sort of stone statue. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Hey. You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light that, at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. R2 and Lumos. triangle. Well done. Okay. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. I'm a little bit concerned that he might start swinging that big sword of his. Oh dear. This almost certainly is not a good thing, right? Look out! Oh, Fig is quite the jeweler, huh? seem to be endless. Oh, I, I keep getting hit by ones I can't see. Review your objectives to reveal the way forward. So, Protego incoming enemy attacks. I, I'm not sure how long it's been there. I didn't see it. Okay. There we go. Now we need to start. I sort of just started um, swinging straight away when I should have been protegoing. I wanted why it was being a bit inconsistent. It all makes sense now. Interesting. Professor Fig. Perry Trotter. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos. Where okay. am I supposed to go? 
Well, the spark seems to be going this way, so. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I'm so tempted to look around for uh, loot, but we really do need to find the professor, don't we? Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Let's investigate. Okay, so we need to activate the uh, this Revelio. What's this? More loot. We like loot. Okay, now we need to Lumos. with their reflections. Okay, so to do that, I have to be. Oops, I didn't mean to, to do have that. No choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of there. Okay, so we roll with circle. That's interesting. See if we can maintain some distance here. Oh, he came from nowhere. There and it looked like he was starting his attack. Hold um, triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefied counter attack. So, okay. Stun enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Well, their attack is from a long way away, huh?
Whoops. Is that me dead? No. Just very nearly. I used the wrong spell somehow. Oh dear. It was going so well too. Try again. Let's see how far it takes us back. Okay, just to this one. Okay, we can, we can do this. Let's see, four of them. I definitely held it that time, but... Do it this time? We did. So now we need Lumos. Where is where are the sparks going? They're going this way. Where are we at? Because I don't want to I don't want the um recording to So we can carry on because I'm recording on the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 5 has an hour recording limit and I it's um, it it just kind of ruins the immersion if I uh, if it just I'm in the middle of something and it just suddenly stops recording so I have to be careful not to go over the hour so we'll be doing sort of about 50 minute installments for this uh, series Mmm, mysterious doorway. Okay, well, there's nothing for it, is there? Straight through the mysterious doorway. What's this? Is that a porky? It kind of looks like some... No, it's like a... A serum of some sort, maybe, like a drink. Is this Felix Felicis? Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That's pensive. Oh, so these are memories. Viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Let's dunk our heads in there. So magical. All is in place. The book is well hidden. Perhaps too well. Rackham. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be so enough. So I guess that's what we have, right? 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were we all look rather different in it. Uh oh. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I'd almost I forgotten know, about that goblin. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. He's a very angry I, I looking mean, goblin, isn't he? The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant I wouldn't do that, that little buddy. The key and you didn't have oh dear. I have no patience for traitors. Now. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Ah, he seems pretty pow powerful. Oh wow, what is that? That's a very big sword. Oh no, is he gonna fall on them? Get out of the way, Eliazar. Oh. Oh. In the nick of time. Is this oh. the enchanted forest? Are you alright? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, interesting. Wow. And now the game really starts, I suppose. Hogwarts Express. Oh, 
Oh, look at Hogwarts. How magical is that? Wow. the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh, the famous Black. Phineas Nigelis. Prepare yourself to meet the head. Famously, the picture in the last books. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever. <laughs> oh God, I he's got the. Uh, the Arkel there and if you're rumors. Lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley. We've one more to be oh, there's, there's Professor Weasley. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, because um, as I mentioned before, I'm, I'm going to do these in about 50 minute um, episodes. I think we'll stop here and the very next episode will be the uh the, the sorting and we'll see what house uh we end up in thank you so much for watching this episode i hope that you're enjoying uh the game i am thoroughly enjoying it so far it's, it's i've got a massive smile on my face i can't tell you so thank you so much uh stay cozy and i'll see you in the next one